yeah, if you've done any 3D tracking, you probably know about this business of where you can select your 2D tracks. Um, I like to use the Control Alt right mouse button, isn't it? Uh, yes, right mouse button. Um, select the points you want. We'll see, deselect the ones we don't want. Set the point, set the points you want, and then go create uh, a three D markers to mesh. And you'd hope that would be a mesh, but it's actually just a bunch of vertices. And then you think, oh well, it shouldn't be too difficult to mesh a bunch of vertices. And I, I went to ChatGPT, and I, I was struggling there. Um, and then I, what else did I do? I had geometry nodes, looked at some geometry nodes, tools, struggled there. You know, some it seems it seems to be a lot harder than than it should be. And I thought, well, let's just do, actually, let's do a search more broadly. And I came across this absolute gem, highly recommend it. Uh, uh, yeah, point cloud to mesh. It does exactly what you would expect. It meshes, but it doesn't, it's not some estimate between the, the, the vertices. It's actually meshes exactly, you know, closest to and produces a great mesh. And this is what it's done for me here on this one. Um, I mean, this is sort of, I say, when between jobs, just try and do little exercises you know, try and improve my showreel, maybe do more impressive shots than than I currently have on my showreel. I thought I'm doing some set extension or, or paint out or maybe a tutorial on how to paint these guys out. And you can see it's done an apps. I mean, I had a good track to start with. Um, so anyway, I was get my plan. <laughs> I, I come up with lots of plans. But anyway, I, ha I hope to do a tutorial on how to, if you wanted to remove the people and then maybe put a load of assets in, um, you know, that sort of thing. Or maybe make it look like winter or something, but a load of snow on the ground. But um, to do that, you need accurate um, geometry. And one way you could do that, use photogrammetry and get the cameras out of something like Metashape. But since that's, I'm trying to steer more and more to try and just keep it open source if possible and more Blender centric, I think, just because I think it's probably more people. Um, we're just, uh, yeah, I, I have more interest in that and I, I want to serve that. Uh, you know the open source side and all the rest of it and it's just becoming more and more capable blender as a, as a alternative um you know for for your independent you know in small productions perhaps as opposed to your to your marvel universe or whatever um but yeah it's it's it works really well i'd recommend it i'll put the link to the thing oh i, I kind of got to show you how you use it right so how to use it um so let's go I'll get rid of the, the geometry that's there, or hide it maybe, just do that. I'm just I'm going to be lazy, I'm just going to select all the points, so A, just go through the thing, you know, because obviously some points disappear, so we've got all, loads of points to work with, um, like I say, you could just use the lasso and whatever, but I'm just for speed sake. So when you add the plugins, just to, you have to unzip it from the zip file and install the, the Python script, um, which is, uh, so yeah, just normal way you'd install a add-on apart from you need to unzip it um, and then once it, once you've done that this little mesher window will appear under your soul thing and you just hit this is x y plane which is obviously the ground plane and then you go there you go and it and that's it i mean that's it's super great um that's it oh yeah like i said i'll probably do a follow-up tutorial just in the whole complete shot but uh, yeah that's it for now